welcome to Walkthrough's gameplay video of Cuz Victory Press Preview. I'm Nick Blind. Here we are playing Cux Victory, a turn based strategy game in which you fight for control over a planet. It is made by the it is made by the developers of the Warlock game, which I believe there are two. Uh, I'm going to look up uh, Warlock. The first Warlock was called um, Warlock Master of the Arcane. And then the rest, and then it's Warlock 2, and then it's friends. Uh, Warlock 2, they exiled. They also made Gunspell and Crazy Killer. So, yeah, um, this game on the same page doesn't really go into detail what kind of game it is. It basically gives you uh, a good summary of the game uh, and a good summary of like, developers, which is not a bad thing, but I kind of wish you would say it's a good genre it is because. I didn't really know. I still don't really know what the genre is. I think it's turn-based strategy from this trailer, but you know, it's very hard to see. Not just it's very hard to see. Very hard not to see it being seen in, in, in any other way. But yeah, so um, but it look, but it do look really cool. So I contacted the developer. I asked. Uh, I told him I was interested in covering their game, and um, they were ever so kind to uh, send me a key for me to cover it. Um, now, the, now, the developers are based in Russia, as you can, uh, and this is, they are in the, in the OCO. And OCO Plus is what they, uh, is what the, is what the developers are called. But anyway, as you can see, it's PvP, uh, and then as normal players, uh, let's, uh, let's look at things first, uh, very basic settings, just music and sound, as well as, uh, well, language, English and Russian. It looks really nice so far. Oh, uh, yeah, reset profile. I guess that's if you want to reset your single player campaign. Let's check out PvP real quick. Oh, cool. Okay, back. Never mind. I'm gonna see that later. Alright. Uh, so, let's hit play. Player name and your name, Ditch Blind. No, we are not Ditch Blind. Since I am a commander in this scenario, I am the... Uh, oh. What space? There is no space in the... Uh, it's uh, underscore. There. Uh, yes. Continue. That crusade was ours against augments. Art's really nice. They tell the retaliation strike to the enemy who dared to conquer a human planet. Yes, how dare they. But we were falling. Oh, we were failing. Despite all of our valor, we are losing ground. Or oh, we were losing ground. What is that for five? Five long years. In the shore of. In, in the core. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen that war before. In the course, of, oh, in the course of retreat, Lord Lionheart's battle arm, battle, battle armor was damaged by direct hit of of cumulative missile. Our retaining was left behind for a rescue mission. All right. We didn't have much time, da da. Alrighty, let's go behind. Let's go. Uh, let's let's go save our general, our commander, or lord. Lord could be anything. It means loyalty. Oh wow. Looks a bit like uh, Borderlands. He uses that same kind of style. Uh, very very. Uh, okay, move the map around. Yeah, my word. I usually don't like the tune style, but. Uh, like Ruby, I make exception for this. Uh, wow, and also a vector thrust. Uh, it looks really nice. All right, by the way, we're right in time. Lord Lionheart's battle mech lost its power, but it seems to be a good speed. It seems to be good. It seems to be good. Let's try that again. It seems, but seems to be in good condition. Let's protect it. All right. Where's that? Although my uh, cursor is being a little buggy, it is scrolling. Yeah. Kind of similar to uh, 
it's fun right now it's been kind of like scrolling but uh, and also this game is not coming out uh it's actually in the coming soon section or yeah it's in the upcoming games on steam and it says coming soon it's gonna be coming up in it's going to be coming out into steam early access Uh, they're planning on having the, uh, price be the, price be the same, except with rare discounts, so don't have to worry about that, and they should only, and the early access should only last about three, uh, I swear I saw it somewhere, um, three, four months. Okay, the early access version only has the first act, the full version will have three acts and more content, modules, units, missions, and planets, alright. Alright, wait, uh, we're right in time, Lord Iron Earth. Okay, we already tried that. Yes, let's protect it. Just a bit of cursor. So we're gonna draw up two attack enemy units. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I see. Oh, it's really nice. Go there. Oh, wow. Let's capture this location to provide AP increase. Dragon drop this. Remember, dragon drop to this unit. Each unit has a cost of 1 AP. So to manage, so you have to manage the, so you have to manage AP carefully. I don't know why I can't talk. I mean, I, it's like late. It's like uh, four eight right now in the AM. All right, basic animations for moving. If you finish all actions, click on turn button, which is in the upper corner. Doing really good so far. Alright, Lord's Armor has enough energy has enough energy now, but we were unable to make contact with Lord Lionheart so far. He must be unconscious. Let's get rid of the uh, let's let's get rid of a tittery that targets him, alright? Mission? Alright, turn two, alright, got it. So that's Lord Lionheart? Yes it is, alright. I mean he's the one making the area, so I assume so. Alright, can we go into the uh, bushes? Oh, can, or can we? Because this is a tank. Yeah, this is a tank. Never mind. I can go there. You move, give me still attack? Yes. Celery's down. This space is generally AP, it looks like. I need all his moves. The line art. Can't do anything with him, alright. Can't do anything with him, alright. Make us in turn. Oh, wow. Oh, great. These guys explode. We found the signal, but it keeps... Or... But... Well, let's check in. I found the signal that keeps Lord's armor in a malfunctioning state. It comes from... One of the enemy locations, we need to shut it down. Get me there and I'll stop it, alright? Where are you and where's there? That you mean means we need the missile silo to get rid of him, alright. Yeah. Missile salvo? Got it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see. I see. You basically click on that or... I'm not quite sure how it worked, but anyway. We got working. Oh, the, uh... Look at... Oh, actually, that's out of range. Oh, we're gonna move up. Oh, is there a way to move? Alright, fine. I was gonna move a little closer, but this works. Actually, move up so I can use your missile salvo again. We got, we got turn. Yeah, arrow keys work fine. It's just the, uh, yeah, the um, edge going a bit wonky. All right, in turn. No, okay, we got close for these guys, but I think it's close to fighting missiles. But as you can see by my silence, this game's actually really good. Um, other than the edge scrolling, I don't see really, I don't 
see a real problem with this game so far. Again, it, it's kind of it's very heavily reminiscent of Advance Wars, uh, Advance Wars. Uh, Armored Core. No, not Armored Core. That is the yeah, Armored Core. Not Armored Core, the main game. Um, um, well, it's called. Um, it's type core into string, uh, Steam, and then we'll find out. All right. But yeah, the one more two uh, turn-based tank game. Yes, that one. Um, it's very similar to that. Oh, I guess let's move up our full allotment and then shoot this guy. Or not. Enter. Alright, well, I guess we're in the base now. Oh, Laura and Light's back online. Or he's back up. I grip my saviors. It seems I missed part of the action. Thank you for not. for not laying to kill me or for not laying to kill me now would you be so kind to accompany back to company back to to accompany me to accompany me back to HQ I swear to mention your heroism in the next mail to the king once we make our way back all right yeah I think uh, I got yeah, the master of English but I think you're missing it them there or that'd, be, or that'd be better if those of them there, by the way. Heavy Scorpion tank is now blocking away. Destroy it with Larnard's long range attack. I already got it. Yes, I agree. Oh, that should be a problem, yes. Oh, that switches units. I see. Okay, that undoes a turn. That's gonna know. Well, I just move up. Oh, we do that. Okay, that works. Um, yeah, target that guy. Wow, I did a lot. Okay, let's move you up. Can you click? Oh, we can just click. All right, don't have to, you don't have to click and drag. It looks like it's a mandatory system if you want to. Okay, you're good. All right, in turn. Oh, great. Yeah, we do. Both units. You being Lionheart? Actually, maybe I should have moved Lionheart there since this guy is over here, but uh, yeah, I should have. Because Lionheart, I'll slightly, because Lionheart had a slightly longer movement range. And then we got to the base, that's what happened, alright. Oh, actually, we can stack on units. Can we stack on units? Wait a second. Um, it, it is broken, we got back alive, congratulations. Yeah, we win. Aftermath, you have won. Rewards, 1,000, um, monies. Alright. But overall, this game is really nice. The king was generous. Very soon, I was granted a lord's status. Alright. I think, I think, I will, is us. Which was a which was a surprise even for saving Lord Lyonard. I got a new battle 
I know I got a new battle armor. The symbol of my new stash, which came bundled with da 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 a huge spaceship and da da what else? Da da a fleshy colonized a freshly colonized planet on the outskirts of human space. Wow. Sadly, I had to return the heavy tank, but its crew stayed with me and took the oath together with the spaceship pilot. Alright, I believe that's two spaces there. I see. Here's my team Omar, spaceship pilot. Assume him. Fowlsley, tank sergeant. I assume you. And Tia, our engineer. I'll assume her. Alright. Omar. Your lord, that's when the time of arrival is eight hours. All systems nominal. We have time to rest a bit, alright? Press, press one to speed up the time pace. Alright, guys. Omar, navigational systems register spaces, subspace jump. Image signature shows counselor, yacht, and local space, alright? Tia, incoming trans, incoming translation from Chancellor's Yard. Oh, tra uh, translation? Yeah, I think that's translation. Ch Chancellor, greeting to your lordship, the der. I, <laughs> I, sorry, I'm, mouth's kind of dry. I hope you like the view of your, on your new planet. It had breathable atmosphere even before terraforming, all right. We will meet in four hours at the Convert Lord Residence, coordinates of which I gave you several days ago. You will be giving key passes from the uh, from the planet infrastructure, alright? As you can see it. I mean, well, I was drinking water. Actually, I yeah, managed to find what I was looking for. Yeah, it's also very. It's very much depends on general um, order of battle, whatever you want to call it these days. Um, other game. Uh, other game just released. It's a sci-fi game like this that's, that that just re uh, just re released on Xbox One. I forgot what it's called. Um, but yeah, very similar to that too. By far, this is actually one of the better turn-based strategy games I have played. Uh, by the way, okay, let's click here. Oh yeah, Harrison's Desert Base, Lord Residence Fortress with factories and laboratories. Ooh, alright, can we make stuff? May for invent, we'll return the time to, mo to normal pace. Press the button to speed up time, alright? Let's speed up again. Omar, I, I'm, I'm detecting a missile launch from one of the satellites. It looks like the Baron is not too eager to give away the control, to give away the control of the planet. Since he decided to attack the Chancellor himself. Oh, great. The Chancellor's yacht has disappeared from the radars. It seems that, the man that they managed to turn on the cooking field in time. Unfortunately, it also I also detected several explosions, so they got hit, but they managed to uh, cook right at the last second. Or at the last second. Dear. Our cooking field is active, is active since the missile launch. Keep maintaining low, keep maintaining radio silence, and we should be able to land safely. All right, what do we got for uh, you know stuff to shoot the enemies with? What are these guys with? All right, yeah, switch to our base. Oh, hello, XCOM. Uh, enemy unknown. And XCOM two. Uh, my, okay. I mean, this is a very good system. There's a reason why they put it in those games. There's a reason why like, people have been using it forever. Uh, having uh, a cross-section base for you to use. By the way. Your Lordship, welcome to uh, your residence on this, pla on this planet. We aren't we are in the camouflage field and no one knows this cords, alright? Oh, 
this. I think she meant these cords? Yeah, I think she means these cords. The infrastructure and equipment of this facility is capable of building the underground city. It, it is time to use it. If we want to stay alive, yeah. Okay, very soon with XCOM. Which, not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, even, you know, even Fallout Trailers like this, too. So, yeah. Uh, build a tactical center to, to start development of your base. Alright, tactical center. One. Good. Clip to the empty room. Um, yeah, let's be balanced. Maybe build one over here with our monies. Be a time. All right. Tactical center. Uh. Yeah, very similar to XCOM. Uh, XCOM. All right, let's uh. Okay, happy. Okay, we uh, put something here then. Alright. Factory. Factory 1. Produce units, alright? Our place to produce units. Tia. There are different rooms. Some produce resources or units. Others expand storage or give improvements. The more rooms you build, the more power you have. Alright. Mr. Rock's not yet. I managed to keep I managed to keep several jeeps in the tank in our ship's hangar. Even with this, we should be able to we should be able to capture the nearest region with a communication array. They are not ready for this attack. All right. The guy whose name I forget. Uh, the middle guy, the tank commander. All right, K. Dick Plains, Mission One, not completely helpless. As a result of the Baron's treason, we are now we are now cut off from any information about the situation on the planet. It is vital, again, in the little space, to establish communications. Also, that region is a good place to attack our HQ from. It is better to keep it to ourselves, yeah. Let's go. Forward! I guess we got made units, but oh well. I mean, it's one of them, and one of them, that should be too hard. Our mission number one, not completely helpless. Important key mission. Mission objective. Objectives. Gain control over three relay stations with the communication equipment. Description. As a result of the variance treason, we are now called for information about the situation on the planet. It's vital to establish communications. Also, the region is a good place to attack our HQ from. It is better to keep it to ourselves. All right. That would be bad at reading. All right, go. Cool. But yeah, better reading allows you to say, all right, let, let's see. They're going down. All right, this is where we deploy. Okay, we can deploy our units wherever we have the, where, wherever the green things are, or wherever the green spaces are. Okay, tank. It's going here. All right. You need to Price and AP, you see you're hearing AP on this panel. Alright, that took all our AP. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I guess I'll be for scouting. Ready. So that's what your AP is used for. You know how to get your three mil three military camps in you will lose these resources and we'll be able to retaliate. Oh, that's all there's a four. These are for AP, not for going, but for uh Spinning units and maybe forgotten. All right, turn one. Do you know how great about lost units? They're only machines. We always can make more, but take care of yourself when on the battlefield. You're risking your life. Yeah, she's talking about the mech. We're in that one. We're personally commanding that one. All right. Do you need more units? Deploy additional machines and anger. Got it. All right, ooh, you can go in the forest. I suggest doing that. I'm going to try to stick into that base. Uh, he can stay there. I'm going to move him down here. I'm just going to use Eric. Is, is Wasty good too? Wasty's good too. I really do like the Wasty movement in this game. What if, if I was the right mouse button, nothing happens. Is that mouse button? I mean, right mouse button does that, alright. 
Oh, still all right. I do love the three featured uh, control scheme for moving the camera. Both uh, keys, um, mouse click, and edge scroll. I still prefer, even to this day, edge scroll than mouse click than WASD. Um, but yeah. All right, you can go to here. We got your cam. Now go into the next. Now go on and get your next one. All right, got. Enter. They shouldn't know this guy's here. Well, they shouldn't know for a fact this guy's here. Yeah, let's deploy some. Oh, we get the. Oh, we can deploy wherever we got units. Ooh, that's nice. We can deploy all our guys. And I place you here. Place you here. Oh, yeah, you need the cap already got. I shouldn't read her in time. And then use the fort, the tank. Here, we could have deployed ourselves, but uh, we don't need to. Oh, we found. We found our guys in the bushes. Fantastic. Alright, the so bushes aren't complete still. You have additional energy source, now you can deploy a battle armor and tank. Or tank, alright, good. Alright, do these guys spot? Come at your own. Makes me wonder if these guys can spot uh, units and trees. If units and trees are stealthy to begin with, but they might not be. They might just have additional cover. Alright, you move on. And attack! Flex to VM! You can move on to over there. Excellent. They better hurry or then we might receive reinforcements. That's not going to happen. You want to get those horse? You go half out your friend. Okay, you can't sack. Makes sense. I should get just rushing destroy that guy, can't wait. Oh, I don't know what the one number is being exactly. Oh, I guess I'm going to look down here. All right, we got three. Okay, okay, two. I, I'm guessing uh, two. the one left is attack because that's a two. And one on the right is uh, is um, our defense because that's a three. All right, so the one engagement. No, yeah, he'll win the engagement, but we'll destroy him. So go ahead. No, not close enough. These, uh, these guys only have one tunnel range. Alright, oh, that's not good. Well, let's, uh. That's undo, alright. Let's try this again. Alright, you're going down, but you be able to take him out, so, uh, do it. If an, if an, if they do get counterattacks. Oh, they don't get counterattacks. I shouldn't know that from the fact that they shut down our guys without retaliation. Oh, great. So, we can move on and help him out. I should just go ahead and take this guy. I hope he doesn't explode and kill her. I hope he doesn't explode and kill her, buddy. That would be bad. He did not. No one over there, but that's fine. In turn. Uh, ah. Are you good? You good? You good, alright. What are they doing? Oh, great. You'll be good at this. Yeah. Um, yeah, see, whatever we bring in the battle, we, uh, th that's what we bring. Can't have anyone else. So we gotta be more careful. Which means you can just go ahead and go. We have the veg. Now destroy the rest of the units. Our guide. Yeah, you have one. All right, so I guess that was the. I guess whatever have the. I guess whatever has the. Uh, uh, helmets above it. The, you know, the blue hexagon. Um, that means that's our objective. Very good, and that will probably win the missing force. By the way, oh, at the math, you have one reward: three hundred monies, two hundred medals, or two hundred. What looks like iron ingots, or silver ingots, hard to tell. Ten radiation, or what looks like radiation, two uh uh, two of the um. Uh, my vehicles, turrets, turrets, turrets. Oh, we can look at this. All right, I didn't know we could scroll these. All right, what is this called? Credits, all right, credits. 300 credits, 20 metal, 10 uranium. Two tank vehicles, one can dirt, one custom weapon. 
extra armor, diamond stew, high power armor, blue print tank, oh we can build tanks now, blue print energy shield, we can build those, and blue player, and blue print hanger too, alright, that's done by the way, but we're going over time a little bit, oh wow, looks like we got some stuff to work on, alright let's go back to the base. I have managed to keep several jeeps, jeeps in a tank in our ship's hangar. Even with this, we should be able to capture the, the nearest region with communications right there, not the ray falls to attack. Back to the map. Which one has the communication ring? Oh, these are just smell mines, alright. Little weak point. Um. Actually, with that, with, with doing the first mission, I'm going to actually end it here. Let's go back to menu. I like how fast the menus are. Play? Yeah. Yeah. Really fast. Alright, so let's just uh, sneak in a PvP arena real quick, and I see why. And now I see why there's reset profile because you only had the one save. Now I'm now let's sneak in a PvP real quick to see if uh, you see if you can have a skirmish with bots or not. I mean, it'd be cool if you can, but it's early access. It's not quite necessary because, like I said, it's. Well, I didn't say this, but it's unfortunately common in this genre to just have a really awesome single player campaign, in, like a turn based strategic genre. It's, you know, it's very common to have a single player campaign and have no skirmish. Well, it's not, well, I, I think the main reason behind that is because skirmish is just a small problem in turn based strategy games of. Well, let's just say, well, let's say why you would have it in an RTS, why it's fun in an RTS over a. Uh, in over a turn-based strategy game. In an RTS, you have the freedom to build your base however you want. Uh, you, build, you have the ability to use whatever units you want, you have the ability to order you want, however, in a turn-based game, you can only put down so many units on the map, and you can only advance certain ways. Um, so yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that probably, this is why I think most games don't do skirmish and turn-based strategy games, that are mainly turn-based strategy games like this. Um, because of that. I think they got PvP. I just, I just realized they got PvP. So yeah. I mean, again, this is the preview, so uh, this is the Steam beta for it. So, uh, you know, it says basically Steam has this thing where uh, if you get developers' permission and if they have it, you know, because developers can put games on Steam and not have them available for the populace or for anyone that has bought the game. Uh, only for the very, basically it's friends and family, uh, paid alphas, paid betas, uh, press builds, you get the idea. Um, and then they call them betas. Basically, name, game of the name, uh, name of the game, beta, same, it's in the same section as the Steam test branch. Um, you know, if a developer says, oh, you can play it, but it gets released, but they want, but they want you to play a, uh, preview of a update that is not in Steam Test Branch, then they will send you a code and then you put it in and then do the beta. That's how that works. It's just like that. So, I would say PvP is not working right now. Yeah. Also, it is 4.33, so that wouldn't help matters either. But I do like the, I do like the random stuff that just appears up there. Alright, so what do I think of Codex of Victory? Well... To be honest, it's actually pretty downright amazing. Um, I, you know what? I believe I'll be honest. I thought it was going to be pretty amazing when I first saw it on Steam. Um, and it was. Uh, oh, and it is. It's just like other than the other than like the small typos and the fat, you know, and I guess translation because developers are probably not native English speakers. Um, or they're based in Russia anyway, um, then, uh, yeah, and also the small thing about the inability to, 
use the uh, you use the um, inch scroll. Uh, you know, it just doesn't want to work for me at the time, but that's fine. That can be fixed. Both of them can be easily fixed. The only, like I said, the only problems that this game has right now, and this is a pre, and you know, this is a press preview of a early access game, and I don't know when this is coming out, by the way. I will assume it's soon because it's actually pretty. Uh, it's on the first page of Steam Upcoming, which if it's on the first page of Steam Upcoming, that means Steam thinks it's going to come out very soon. Uh, like within the next week or two to by the end of the month. Um, or by the beginning of next month. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you like your turn-based strategy games, if you like your world conquering games, um, if you like XCOM, if you like Panzer General, if you like Events Wars, if you like... What is that game called? Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna look it up real quick on Xbox because I know where that, I know where to find it there. Uh, it's actually in my, uh, you know, it's in my thing. Um, thing. Uh, tag things, yes. Pin things, yes, that's what it is. Alright. Um, but if you like that type of game, uh, yes. And if you're wanting to get into turn based strategy games, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, sure, it's not as complex as, let's say, Order of Battle or, I guess, Pinch in general, but it doesn't really need to be. It's, it's fine. I mean, it's more complex than Civilization. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's in, it, it's in that zone of being complex enough to be, um... Uh, again, it's in that zone of being complex enough to be not simple, but in the zone of being simple enough to be not complex, but basically perfect for everybody. Uh, not too, not too complex for people that get confused, and not too simple for people that want to have more, something more. Now, again, I don't know the price of this game either. Um, so, I would say a good price... Uh, I mean, Warlock 1 is $24.99 on Steam right now. Um, I would say that's a good price. I would, I will go to say $35 to $39 will also be a good price. Around $40. Um, any more, that may be pushing it, but this could very well be a, a full price release. Um, so, yeah, basically I'm just saying any price range is appropriate. Um. So, yeah, I mean, basically it depends on how much you want to spend for a game like this, which basically is like any, basically that's like any game argument, really. But, yeah, and by the way, uh, my Xbox is not exactly plugged in, to the, I mean, my apologies is not exactly plugged in to my computer right now, I don't want to plug it in because it'll make a sound, and my messing's up, so, yeah. Wait, what was that game? Um, but yeah, I mean this game is really, really nice. Uh, and definitely worth checking out if you, even if you just want, you know, even if you just want to get into the genre, this is a perfect entry point. Um, yeah, this is definitely a perfect entry point game for the turn-based strategy campaign genre. We should say like more classical turn-based strategy games as opposed to like Civilization, uh, which is, I guess, a forest strategy game. I'm still looking for it. But yeah, um, um, yeah, I guess that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I don't know if you should go watching on this video. It means lots to me. Well, me not to me to leave comments, so I to me magicians. Oh, to me, only through those game or not, which I will most certainly do. Um, I could definitely play through all of the, uh, what is in the game right now, which probably just the first act. But I need a little less of that, since this is the, uh, press preview version. And I'm just going to use press preview for any versions that only people that are either press or, uh, just people that are either press or, um, 
uh, press or just people that can, or early testers and stuff like that. You can get into something that's not totally public and not totally closed. Um, but yeah, um, I also appreciate any tips and help, or I also appreciate any tips and I'll play Codex of Victory in general, even though tips can use comes free a little tip, but um, yeah, it's, this has definitely been one of the better, I should, uh, I mean, it's definitely in the same league of Order of Battle and Sunrider. To me, it's in the league of uh, turn-based strategy, turn strategy games. And for a turn-based strategy game like this, it's in the front. Uh, more similarly is Order of Battle and Starship and, you know, Space Battle is uh, Sunrider. Um, but yeah, so uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I think we should go. I think we should go watching on this video. Means that. Means that oh, I said that. Um. So yeah, that'd be it for this video. And I guess. See you in a second.